What up, gang? It's your boy Zod back with another banger. Yesterday, we went over allele frequencies and how they compare to genotype and phenotype frequencies. I really wanted to dive into the Hardy and Weinberg equation because it goes hand in hand with allele frequencies. I just didn't want to get into it yesterday because it really would have complicated that video a little more than it should have. So I wanted to put it in a separate video, which we're going to go over today, the basics of the Hardy and Weinberg equation, as well as the Hardy and Weinberg equilibrium and how they relate to allele frequency. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Get it! Go! Like, comment, share, subscribe, you yeah. yeah, you know it. Another thing, don't forget to join the Discord. What up, gang? So you may have heard me mention the Hardy and Weinberg equation in some previous videos. Hardy and Weinberg were two scientists who independently developed a key principle in genetics. G.H. Hardy was an English mathematician, and Wilhelm Weinberg was a German physician. In 1908, they proposed the Hardy and Weinberg principle. It explains how genetic variation in a population remains constant under certain conditions. This idea laid the foundation for population genetics and helps us understand how genes pass from one generation to the next without being altered by random chance alone. It's P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared equals one, and it'll always equal one. And you're probably like, man, what in the world was that? That's the equation. And today we're gonna simplify it and break it down so you can grasp the concept of P squared plus two PQ plus Q squared always equals one. One being a population. P is the frequency for the dominant allele and Q is the frequency for the recessive allele. The Hardy and Weinberg equation is a way to predict how genes or alleles are passed down in a population over time. The equation basically assumes that a population is stable and never evolving. Things like migration, mutations, or natural selection never happen and never interrupt that equilibrium. Or, you know, we know equilibrium to mean kind of stable or, um, right in the middle, even. Now, P squared represents individuals with two dominant alleles. We know that to be homozygous. So homozygous dominant. Two P and the Q next to each other actually represent a dominant and a recessive next to each other. We know that to be heterozygous. And then the Q squared represents a recessive and a recessive next to each other. And we know that to be homozygous for recessive. Little a, little a, we'll call that, right? The uh, P squared would be big A, big A. The uh, 2PQ would be big A, little a. The equation assumes that a population is stable, not evolving, and that factors like natural selection, mutations, or migration are never affecting it. So basically the equation helps scientists to determine um, how genes are being passed down in a population and whether or not evolution is taking place. All right, let's take our example from yesterday with the brown eyes and the blue eyes. Let's take a population of 10. If six of those people have brown eyes and brown eyes is dominant, then P would equal 0 0.6. If the remaining four have blue eyes and that would be considered recessive, then Q would equal 0 0.4. So you're like, man, how is it important? How does it apply to my garden? It helps us to understand if genes are actually staying the same or if evolution is taking place. That's super important. And when you think of evolution, natural selection, all of these things will help you to become a master stress tester all right gang i just wanted to simplify 
the Hardy and Weinberg equation and equilibrium for you. I want you to be able to grasp the concepts. Join us in the Discord if you want to join some of these classes with Team Zaza. I mean, we are learning. Anything we learn um, in the Discord, I'm going to bring it here to the YouTube. So, like I said, we'll be um, starting some quizzes and exams for, for you know, prizes. And um, it'll be Team Zaza YouTube and Team Zaza Discord competing. So, I'm excited about that. Feel free to join the squad over there in Team Discord. Um, or just stay over here. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Make sure you visit AC Infinity. Use code Team Zaza if you want a discount at checkout. But most importantly, visit ZazaGenetics.com. Much love. I appreciate y'all. Um, most importantly, please subscribe man we uh if you're a recurrent viewer and you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe man we we are a growing channel and we want to get to a hundred thousand man that's the goal man so road to a hundred thousand but before that we got to get to five thousand first so <laughs> man make sure you subscribe man make sure you like this video man i appreciate the love i appreciate the support until i see you again man i'm out of here